Good morning. Sadly, not on the boat. It is the longest I've not gone fishing. Um, was it mid-January, something like that, uh, that I put my last video up? Uh, only time I've been out this year. Uh, that wasn't uh, particularly successful. Um, and uh, uh, I've left the boat in for longer than I would normally for various reasons. The last of which was um, hoping for some decent Easter weather. I think that was Storm Nelson, I forget now there's, uh, there's been so many. Um, yeah, so anyway, so the boat is, uh, is out now. Um, I've got a couple of weeks to um, get it all sorted out, engine serviced, etc. Uh, and then hopefully back on the water um, by the end of April, if not um, the uh, May bank holiday. So uh, yeah, hoping for some uh, better weather then. So here she is out and uh, looking a little bit dirty and sorry for herself as they uh, as they do this time of year not too bad though um just a few barnacles under there and a bit of estuary mud this on the side i normally um i normally try and clean that off quite frequently it's uh the downside to having uh having a boat uh on a mud mooring that uh, when it rains the mud splashes up on the side so it needs a bit of a uh, bit of frequent cleaning uh so uh uh, yeah, that's the plan for the next couple of weekends. Um, so I took it out uh, yesterday. Um, took the windows out as well. Uh, the um, the old windows were getting a they were scratched when I bought the boat. Um, and um, this is the one from the port side. I don't know if you can see that, um, but it's starting to crack along the bottom. So. Uh, the windows came out yesterday. Um, I've cut these new ones. Uh, axe guard in a clear bronze. Got those from Lord's Builders Merchant for anybody that's interested. They were the cheapest I could find. Um, UV resistant, a uh, little bit of bronze tint as well. Uh, so that should tidy that up. Uh, they were leaking last year, um, so they needed resealing, and it was um, for, for the money. It was worth um, yeah getting the new uh, new polycarbonate. Uh, so the boat as it stands just a bit dirty not too bad for a year on the water engine will get serviced um, that's a bit grizzly down there so that all needs sorting out uh, and the boat itself well just a bit dirty from uh, getting it out and getting it sorted really uh, so as well as taking the windows out yesterday I emptied the boat uh, took everything out from it. That that all had a clean yesterday. All the uh, the contents of the boat. Uh, it's also a good opportunity to uh, review what you've got on the boat. I like to have obviously everything you need, but nothing extra. You can you can carry loads and loads of stuff that is just unnecessary, and you don't use it for a year. So it's worth when you've got the boat completely empty. Um, just having a little tidy around and seeing what you need. I've, there's nothing much I want new on the boat. Um, there's, a, there's something I want to do at the stern there. Um, just a minor thing really. Uh, and that's just uh, that uh, when I'm baiting up, I've got nowhere to put the lead particularly. Um, you can put, you can pop them down one of the rod holders if they're not being used. Um, but if I, if I put it on the bait table, it rolls around, it can go in a bucket, something like that. But um, it's only a little thing, but uh, if anybody's got any ideas, drop me a line. Uh, yeah, so uh, I will bring you back uh, periodically. Um, the order of things are a jet wash, top to bottom, and then a soap wash, top to bottom, uh, scrape all the barnacles off, uh, anti-foul, put the new windows in, um, wax polish it, and whenever the boatyard can fit me in, um, get the engine serviced. Uh, uh, I'm away in London next weekend for the uh, for the marathon. Um, my son's girlfriend's brother is running that um, for uh, a very good cause. So uh, got that next weekend, and then uh, yeah. Uh, um, another weekend till the end of the month so uh, hopefully get everything sorted but uh, like I say I'll bring you back periodically and uh, let you know how the cleanups going well that's round one out of the way the pressure washing I'm very wet um, the boat is starting to come back to shape
the messy bit around the engine is definitely getting there. Uh, the next bit is to get rid of all the other marks. So for that, I'm going to use a mixture of um, some paste compound. Um, oxalic acid, which I'll mix, mix up to get rid of any rusty bits. And then just uh, a standard car shampoo, really. Uh, and, and a bit of elbow grease to get the rest. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'll go around it, uh, get rid of the marks. Uh, and then it'll be a full wash after that. Well, there we are, um, cleaned but not waxed. Uh, so the last thing I've done before a bacon sandwich is um, before anti-fouling, obviously some of the hull is um, covered by the rollers. So the, the, the length of the rollers there, I've just used the winch on the The winch on the boat to just winch back that distance. I'll get rid of the the winch line now because it's uh, it's all secure. Obviously, if you are going to do that, I hope you can see that. Jock the trailer. This is fairly well weighted forward, but the last thing you want to do is winch it back a little bit, and the boat tips up. Um, so uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that for now. Uh, uh, all cleaned. I'm not going to say all the barnacles gone because you always find a few. Um, but uh, yeah, home for a bacon sandwich, and then when that's uh, dry, come back and mask up for the best job of the boating calendar: anti-fouling. See you later. Right, that's one coat of anti-fouling on. Another one to go after the Grand National. A uh, couple of um, anti-fouling essentials in my book. You can either pay for somebody else to do your anti-fouling. Uh, if you've got the luxury of a boat yard with a hoist or um, you can get it on ramps or something like that, it's easy. If, like a lot of people, you're crawling on the floor um, doing it on the trailer, then a um, good piece of something to catch all the, all the drips and drops. Um, an old pillow, some clothes that you don't mind throwing away or um, uh, or save for next year and some decent gloves. These are inexpensive, they're just, uh, hang on, let me get one off, they just go under the title of um, work gloves. They let a little bit of paint through but not a lot. Um, but. Um, they're just really, really good. Uh, the little, the disposable rubber gloves are useless. You end up um, with fingers like this because you're flicking off um, bits of barnacles that you missed, uh, and it's just a messy job anyway. The rubber gloves, they just stick to it, and then they tear, and then you've got a sweaty glove full of uh, full of paint. Anyway, off to watch the Grand National, and then uh, back for the second coat. I've almost got a reflection. There we are, uh, that's uh, not quite finished, there's a little bit more polishing to do, um, but um, the holes had two coats of polish, two coats of anti-fouling, new windows. Uh, the inside needs polishing, but I've sort of run out of time, as you always do. Uh, so uh, off to the boatyard next, and um, uh, uh, chap Adrian there is going to service the engine for me uh, sometime in the next couple of weeks whenever he can fit it in so um, I will do the final bits of polishing put the stuff back on board after that and hopefully see you on the water um, end of the month or if not the bank holiday weather permitting thanks for watching cheers